Okay, here we go with some attackers on uh, Oppression Hastings. This is the very first time I'm attacking. I've only played it as the defenders. So uh, I'm having a look around, see what's what. Um, I see there's plenty of options in the base to deal with, plenty of vehicles. And uh, there goes one of my options floating off right there, so that sucks. Um, and got a, a tank here, Benzilla's driving it. And I don't really know what I'm doing, and I think he played the map before me. So uh, I jump in his gun to have, see the map from the safety of a, a, this iron box here. So um, see a little surfboard there, it's a nice detail. Probably an homage to uh, Apocalypse Now. Um, or some sort of film. I'm not a film buff. For all I know, it could be Hot Shots Part Do or something. Um, but uh, we arrive at the base, and we can see that the bee's right there in the ruins. Um, I wasn't even aware where B was because when I spawned as the defenders, all I know is that A got armed in front of me and died. So we get a little power drop going in there, which looks damn cool. I start cutting down some trees to see the uh, get a better view of things. Um, unfortunately, uh, the gun on the tank is. It's just horrible, you're better off just not using it at all. Um, it's safe, I guess, and I really like seeing what's what from it. Um, and it's really annoying for uh, the defenders to get peppered by it, it brings them in cover, but it really doesn't do much um, damage. So, I see now, I noticed the uh, sandbags there, and I recognize them from when I was defending. There's a crate right there. So, um, I hop out on the crate, the tank's covering me, and I decided not to get in it and actually use my AK here because I figure that's probably going to be more deadly than actually using the massive gun on top of the tank because that doesn't do anything and uh, <laughs> that guy scared the crap out of me I flipped to a pistol just to see if I can uh... Cause, uh, he way he just ran in there and start, looked at the crate and I assumed he was going to disarm it there um, but I wasn't stupid enough to fire at him so I guess I can get some defense there yeah, and I threw the uh, the um, the grenade there at B, and I assumed that we took it then. I didn't notice that it it's actually said disarmed, and this is a case of me just not like figuring out what the hell's going on. Because we've got a few stragglers here, or what I thought was stragglers, but as it turns out, this is like still their spawn point. Um, and I get into the ruins, take a few down. I think I'm pretty much done here. I get to the top, and uh, they arm it. Here it is, it's armed. I'm like, oh okay. Uh, so they're still spawning around us. So that caught me completely off guard and I'm in a position I really don't want to be in because I can be hit from two different angles here and that's never good when you don't know where the fire's coming from. So I do what I can here to try and keep this thing armed. I get a few kills. I'm looking over where I think they're spawning but another guy runs up the steps and uh, the actual animation of my gun is what brought me from seeing that guy running up the steps and he kills me. So um, I got a few kills, which probably means that uh, people in there, um, we've got two squad mates in there, and they're able to uh, hold onto the crate and it got blown up, so we managed to take this space pretty much no problem at all, um, which is good because that's pretty much what they did to us, so we're about drawing even right about now, um, in fact I think they did it a little bit faster than us, so I'm going to be really worried that uh, this is going to base we're going to be stalling on, so that's going to be... Um, uh, difficult to watch out for and I don't really have any idea how I'm going to be attacking this base because all I know from here to there is there's a couple of hills and that's it, that's all I know. So I'm going to be like walking along here just to see what I can see. Um, I mean, usually when a helicopter's flying overhead it means people are probably going to be looking at it so it's a good good time to uh, advance on forward is where there are bigger things like tanks and stuff to draw your attention. And um, So uh, we're following the tank here, grooving to the music some jazz in there and we've got the helicopters there and I see the bullets this is kind of what I mean I saw the bullets coming at that helicopter and it was coming from the hill so I hunt the guy down and probably save the helicopter's ass and uh, move on from here because the tank came from a different angle I'm going to kind of try and cover this angle fortunately it doesn't work someone's gunning me in the back I don't know how they got behind me or maybe they're just coming from their old base but uh, I got completely cooked there and not really what I can do but uh, we've got quite a strong force coming in that way and um, about this time I realise I'm using the AK-47 which is something I never do. If I'm an American GI, I play the character and generally go with the uh, the M16 only because it's in character. So uh, I'm jazzing to some tunes here as I repair. I'm staying in the back armour but unfortunately for me Death Creek's a good enough shot that uh, he nails me with the RPG and gets splash damage on the back of the tank with explosive upgrade. So he's playing to his kit role there, and um, he's screwing me and Benzilla over from this tank. Kinda sucks. Um, and I, uh, seeing as I've got that um, blowtorch repair, 
going on. Um, I'm going to try and stick next to vehicles. So that's pretty much what I'm playing right now. Um, I'm going to tour the map and just be a general handyman for the team and pitch in where I can and make sure. And because usually I'm the one who makes the plays and people generally either follow me or don't follow me, whatever. But seeing as I don't know what plays to make, I'm just going to support other people in their plays. So that's what I'm doing right now, being a supportive kit. Not a support, because that's a different kit, but at least try and support people with uh, some vehicle repair going on here. So I jump in the Huey there because I was worried he's going to fly up without me. And I try and gun for him as much as I can. Um, I don't think this guy was quite on the ball as a, uh, uh, the Huey pilot here because he kind of flies really deep into their base, which leaves them absolutely no way of getting out of the base and back to our base um, where we're going to get completely just torn to shreds so if you're gonna be uh, worrying about tracer fire from the ground um, you're gonna want to at least flow over the uh, the beginning of their base not fly all the way over it because you've got to fly all the way back before you're in safe airspace so that's something you've got to think about um, but I did jump out and I managed to survive somehow obviously the guy they killed the pilot and um, I'm on the ground long enough now that I know that people aren't chasing down my parachute to come and kill me so I'm thinking I can move up on the crate and we've got plenty of other guys running around here so it looks like I'm probably going to be safe to arm this thing which I do and um, <laughs> have a look around and see what covers what and unfortunately for me these windows and these walls aren't bulletproof um, as I find out to my cost in a sec I think they cover I mean they, they help hide your uh, the profile of your character so you're harder to spot. You can see there, I know they're not bulletproof, so I go around the only thing in the vicinity that is bulletproof, and it's the uh, the actual crate, and that's not going to be lasting very long. So I'm going to have to uh, hightail it out of here in a second. But uh, it looks like just when I got my handle on this base and figured out what's what, <laughs> it's time to move on to another base. And I didn't even know this thing had three bases. That's how unknown this map is to me. I thought it was only just the two. So the base moves on to a base I didn't even know existed, and I'm having a look around, um, and I'm not even sure which direction I'm going. I'm kind of having a little look where the crate icons are, and just following their stragglers to their base. So, uh, following a few guys over here, using a pontoon to cross the water, and we're already at the, the uh, first crate here, so that's good, and we've got air support so things are looking up um, can't arm it from that side um, uh, I'm figuring they're probably gonna take that and seeing as there's a tank right right next to me that needs repairing and it's making a move for the other crate I figure that I'm much more needed over here just repairing this one unfortunately I can't get in because Benzilla's already got the plus one um, and I'm still trying to get used to the blowtorch overheating it's not quite like the power drill so I'm fixing the tank and see what I can do about this crate. So I make a move on this crate. Unfortunately, the other crate that I thought the other guys would have um, got disarmed. So I made a poor decision there about going to the tank there. Probably, probably could have taken it if I helped them out. Check all four corners of the room just to make sure there aren't any people guarding the crate, which really surprises me there aren't actual people on the crate. Um, and we get a kind of a dice roll that I lose there. Um, he was spraying through the wood, I was spraying through the wood and came out on top. Kinda sucks, but that's the game, you just gotta deal with it. And I gotta decide where I'm gonna spawn again. I think I go right back to the Huey. Just because I like firing the M60, because it's quite cool. Not really a lot tactically to say when I'm just with a random guy I've never been with before firing the Huey. I mean I've already made a whole video about the Huey before. So uh, I know they're on this hill and they're around the back, so I do what I can about these guys, and um, not really a lot I can do. Give them a spray, give them something to think about. I'm getting hit markers, but unfortunately not much else. The tank's doing more damage than the Huey, so I decided to book it and just try and arm the crate by dropping through a hole in the roof. I was trying to be all ninja, didn't quite work. Probably the same guy, the same group of windows just killed me. So I decide that um, I'm going to support something, I'm going to support it well. And uh, the tank's on 48 health, so it needs a good blow torching. 
and uh, I'm just going to spend the rest of this match just supporting this tank, I think. Oh no, I make one last play on the crate, which ends up pretty much exactly the same. So uh, now I'm pretty much going to be supporting the tank, because it's in a good position, it's keeping that hill bombarded. So if I can keep that tank alive, me and Bazilla could probably support the rest of our team to govern and finish the job. Um, I'm kind of getting a handle on where this is going on as well, because there's like a ridge that goes down the middle of the map, and having a tank on it seems to be doing pretty well, so it's going to be attracting a lot of attention, as you see it gets lots of uh, damage from the front, and it also, uh, see I'm trying to do some gardening here by cutting across some of this, these trees, but it's not really, yeah, I don't think the, uh, the bullets of the 50 cal really do much. There we are. So now we got a good view of the hill. And then it'll look at what's going on. Oh yeah, I coordinated with the Benzilla where those guys were then. See, I saw one of the guys go around the corner. I told him where he was, and Benzilla just fires around the corner and gets some splash damage on a guy. And there, I get out, and the freaking thing just spits me off the bridge, which sucks. And if I was any slower getting up that hill, that little glitch of it just spitting me off the side of the bridge probably would have killed the tank. Without a tank support, you'd probably wouldn't have got this crate that comes up. But as it happens, um, I managed to get up there, repair the tank, the tank survives, the tank keeps the people pinned, and the crate gets down, so that's pretty much all she wrote for that. Pretty damn quick. Um, that is just me being a nub, so if you're, wanna, if you're a nub and you don't know what to do, just support people, I guess is the lesson to learn from that. Um, Try and help people. Um, I think I got two crates. Um, for some reason, I got ace pin. I'm not quite sure why. I think those two crates are what pushed it over and support. So, yeah, there you go.